For flexor digitorum brevis, it goes into these proximal phalanxes and the middle phalanxes of the, the, the second to the fifth toe. Um, but the way that we do it is we just get them to resist, push against us, i.e. flex the toes against our resistance. And we can either stabilise here or we can stabilise things here and get them to do that. The only thing you need to be careful with that is that we don't get a lot of gastrocnemius and soleus coming into it in, in that way. So it might be best just to stabilise it there and push there. For the flexor digitorum longus, it goes into these distal phalanxes of the, the toes. Now depending on the dexterity of your patient, depends on whether you can actually test these independently or not. And sometimes it can almost be easier to test them as a single toe. So what you do is you would stabilise that middle fa um, phalanx and get them to push down into you. And although they probably bring the other ones with it, you can actually feel the strength of each individual tendon doing that or try and get your, your finger into there so it's only the distal ones that they're using.